For WWE 2K22, we recently got patch 1.09. This was a huge update that fix a lot of stuff. We introduced tag titles into my GM mode and more, but there are still a huge amount of problems and updates and fixes that we need with the game. Today on the show, we're going through a lot of your feedback, the community's feedback of some of the fixes that we still need to see in the game. Let's have some fun. Let's get into the show right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Assemble. I'm Matt. Great to have you on the show. We are talking 2K22 and the updates and fixes that we still need to see in the game. And so I threw out a community question in the community tab forum here on the show, gathering all of your feedback. And we need to highlight and address some of the big criticisms, some of the big issues we're still seeing with the game. Now don't get hot because I'm I don't I don't have everything. I don't, I'm gonna miss something. So you're gonna outline something. You're gonna go, hey, 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 dumbass, you forgot this and this and this. And to that, I say, I agree with you. I did forget that. I did, I did, I did fail. I'm going to start things off with universe mode. One of the things that is still outstanding, that's still a big issue. Well, there's a couple of things. Universe mode crashes. Universe mode is still not stable enough to a point where it's really enjoyable that it's still a question mark if it's going to run, if it is going to crash. I know a lot of players on PC are seeing a huge amount of issues. I know from the feedback in the community that PS4 players, last gen console players are still having tremendous amount of issues universe mode and others. But for me, universe mode is a big contention point because I'm still having huge problems where it's not consistently working well. Alternate attires after patch 1.09 don't show up. They're grayed out, which is very odd because they worked before the patch. So if I want to go in and select an alternate attire, it's not going to let me pick one of the other alternates that I have made available. On top of that, when you're going through your universe and for that week of TV, some of the alternate attires don't show up. You have to go in and manually edit the match and change the attire that way. And other examples are that when I'm playing through my show on Raw, I have a match where Lacey Evans was going to be in there and it showed up with the render image of Edge. And it did this because I've given Lacey Evans an alternate attire with a different render. And so it's substituting it for some reason. And again, this is more prominent now after the most recent patch. And as we go through all of this, by the way, there very, very well could be a patch like tomorrow. And so rendering, haha, rendering this entire video useless and pointless because you'll say, idiot, they, they fixed a lot more that you talked about, haha. -ha. And I'm like, all right, well, good stuff. But it's important that we talk about all of this. You can't create the Hurt Business in Universe Mode either. Hurt Business was brought back into a default team in the most recent patch, which is great. So for regular exhibition play, I can do a four on four and I can have the Hurt Business. But I also had to default all of my tag teams. So if I had customized tag teams and groups that I've made, I had to get rid of all that just to be able to get the hurt business in the game, which should have been there anyways. So in universe mode, this really doesn't even work. I know that some folks in the community have also said that they can't even create minor shows in universe too. So for a mode that is very much a staple for the 2K franchise that we've had over the years now, these things should not be there in my opinion. These things should be there day one. We shouldn't have to go through any of these giant bugs and issues, but they're there. But really for a, a staple mode that they didn't reinvent the wheel on, that they didn't change basically anything other than adding superstar mode, to me, these issues should not be there. And they definitely shouldn't be there after they've tried to patch and update the game. Let's talk about online for a minute, specifically community creations online. We saw a big update here with 1.9 where we got the rendered images have been changed. They've updated the size of render images, so now it's going to be 1024 by 1024. So all of the rendered images that have been uploaded by the community beforehand and made the adjustments and try to make them as really awesome as possible, now they're having to go and redo all of their work, which is a huge, huge bummer. It's a huge issue. And I know that trying to resize it after the fact, long term, it's a good thing because hopefully this will be the standard and people in the community have gone and reposted updated renders for like, you know, Mr. Perfect, CM Punk or whoever else out there. There's huge amounts of work that's being done in the community, which is great. But 2K has gone in and revamped all of this. And I know that some of the feedback in the comments has been, you know, they shouldn't have even bothered with adding rendered images if it was going to be this much of a problem. I love the fact that we have rendered image options in there. It keeps my game fresh. It keeps it more fresh. I love that my custom created stars have the images, but it's a lot of work and it's causing more issues in the game. And it feels like for some that that's not really worth it, that the game is breaking because of these rendered images that they've added into the game. People in the community tab here for this feedback piece 
mentioned too that they're like, I still have crashing. You put in a custom arena with a, two custom superstars or more and the game crashes. It completely crashes and we haven't had these glaring issues in years past. We've had them. We've had issues. We've had crashing. It has been there. 2K20 was a mess, but 2K19, people are calling for that back. People have commented and said that I'm just going to go back to 2K19. So it's really disappointing in that regard that you can't even have your downloaded custom stars in another arena that you can create with the tools they give you and it's still breaking. Other pieces that we still need to get fixed, or I should say other things that should, should get fixed now because they were there before and they were fine. But after the patch, catch finishers don't work. I thought it was just me for a second that I couldn't time it out properly, but I've gone into several matches and I have attempted to hit the left bumper, throw my opponent into the air to then give them whatever move. Whether it's going to be an F5 pedigree or an RKO, catch finishers don't work anymore. The patch in some regards has done a lot more dam damage than good. It's ridiculous. They did fix counters. So if I'm going to drag my opponent or grab them and try to walk them over to the ropes, you can now counter this move, which is good, but I can counter it. And then I want to maybe throw them off the ropes to then do a catch finisher, and throw them in the air and I can't do it anymore. So it's bizarre to me that these things have happened. My rise mode is still seeing tremendous amount of glitches and issues, even for myself, where the game will glitch out, where I have two opponents and the referee gets into a certain spot and I can't move anybody or they just keep taunting or my opponent goes onto the ropes under the apron and continuously taunts, and they don't get back in, and my guy's frozen. There's still a lot of that happening in the game. Folks have commented that blood needs to be improved in the game still. One thing that I hope that they bring back, which I don't know why it was removed, but hopefully they can just patch it back in, is going to be double titles for double title entrances. We've had this in years past, and for some reason it's not there by default. Uploading content from logos to arenas to even creating their superstars, people in community are still talking about how things are crashing and glitching and they're not able to do these things. And these seem to be basics that are still missing and still not addressed. I know one big thing for me is just my save data where the game will just crash or I try to just turn the game on and it's trying to load up my save data and it just sits in limbo where it won't process. So majority of the time I have to quit, close out the game, restart it two to three times in order for it to open and start to work. And once I'm in, I'm good for a while. What I will say, and just so the episode is not just the here's everything that's wrong with the game and it's just terrible and all we're doing is just hashing it out. I just think that it's important that we do look at here are some of the things that are not great and not just putting sh sunshine rainbows on the whole thing and saying it's it's good. But I will say that the good things that have happened is that stuff's getting addressed. The last patch we got was huge. Adding, you know, tag titles into GM mode, like we've said, that's a big win because I thought that would just be skipped and they just do that in the next game. I think these things take time for 2K and for them to just address and that un unfortunately we have to have some patience with it. Does it justify it? By no means. The game should be working day one when we buy it. We put our money into these things. We invest it. We buy their downloadable content. We put money and time in all of this and we invest in it. And we should have a product that works, that just works. We shouldn't have to go through these things and wish for stuff to get fixed. It's just kind of the nature of video games nowadays for a lot of them, right? But I will say that the last patch did do a lot of good. And it made me optimistic that we will see substantial fixes over the course of this next year. And we will see things like rendered images being fixed and the online being fixed and double titles maybe coming back in, maybe more superstars like your Zelina Vegas or Cody Rhodes being added into the game for no extra charge. We did see NXT 2.0 Arena come into the game, which is a huge surprise and that is a win for fans. And I think if they continue to do a lot more fan service like this, where they add in arenas, extra tires, more superstars for free, that should be in the game on top of fixing all of the things that are breaking. I think that by the end of the year, the game could be in a really, really healthy state. And if you're like me, you're you're optimistic and you're hoping for the best and you want these things to do well because you enjoy it and you want to be able to have fun with it. But anyways, I wanted to be able to just talk to all of you and really be able to talk to the community because you guys are awesome. And I want to be able to make sure that we're highlighting what is wrong and what's frustrating you. So at least Matt here hears you. I hear you and I hopefully I've addressed some of the stuff that's going on out there. And if we continue to see changes and updates, I'll have it for you here. And we're going to talk about the goods and the bad. So guys, thank you so much for joining us here on the show and I will see you on the next episode.